hi y'all and a welcome back so today we are going to be making some hot chocolate but we're going to put a little twist on it um and it's going to be healthy for you this hot chocolate does not have any milk products in it so it is necessarily vegan you can take the marshmallows out um if you wanted to um but you guys what makes it so different and so healthy is because we're using um breeze so we're using almond milk i love almond milk in my hot chocolate because because it is so creamy it's so good and i just love the taste of it so what you would need is a regular o cup look at me trying to be all fancy well i am relaxing because i'm on my vacation away from work so yes sis and you need a wooden or a regular spatula spoon. I like wooden because it's, you know, something I use. And then a sifter because I like to sift my hot chocolate. It's more better to sift it. Um, even if it comes in the package, definitely go ahead and sift it to get all the lumps out of the hot chocolate and make that hot chocolate taste really good. Get all that flavor. And a pack of Starbucks hot chocolate or Swiss hot chocolate. Girl, I love Starbucks hot chocolate, but I am not willing to pay and go every day to Starbucks and get these people to make my hot chocolate, especially when COVID-19 is still here and around in effect and it's high in Texas. So I went and got my own. I went and grabbed my own so I can be my own barista. Okay, so yeah, you need one pack and it does tell you on the other side like you can make a different thing like the quick s'mores hot chocolate, but I'm not into whipped cream. I'm not into all that other stuff. I just like the regular old fancy smashy uh, homemade DIY Starbucks that I normally do. And then I got some of this McCormick roasted cinnamon because I love to put cinnamon in my decaf coffee and it tastes so good. So I tried it inside of my hot chocolate and it was really good. And then the star of the show, Almond Breeze Milk. Yes, unsweetened vanilla. This is like my all time favorite. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and heat this pan up. I'm going to put it on six because I don't want the almond milk to uh, burn but once I do that I definitely will come back and show you so I pretty much measure um, the almond milk with my cup I put a little bit more but normally it's under the, um, the handle but I put a little bit more because actually this is for my kiddo and so I'm making this hot chocolate for him if you want to do like a kids temp on the stove definitely turn it down to like a medium or even number four so that milk, almond milk won't get too hot for um, the kids. Um, but my son, really, I can also just put it to medium and he is fine. He knows how to blow it and all that good stuff. So I normally just let it sit out and then I'll give it to him. But yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and put this in the pan. Hopefully I don't spill anything. And yeah, I just let it sit and do the thing. And constantly, sometimes I'll stir it around because I don't want it to be like burnt almond milk. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll be back and show you guys. So at this point, we can go ahead and sift our cocoa out of our package. And um, I'm gonna add some um, cinnamon in it. Just a little bit, not even a lot, you guys. That's enough. And I'm just going to go ahead and sift this in there. And you see the marshmallows and stuff. So I'm going to start doing that. And once I'm done, um, hopefully I'll have the milk in the cup. Um, and you guys can see <laughs> the after. So we have a nice little bowl going on here which means our almond milk is heated. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and pour it in the cup. Oh yes, you don't even have to stir it. And I like to take the remainder and just kind of shake it on top. Then pour everything on top. And 
there you go your own DIY healthy-ish Starbucks hot chocolate at home you guys oh it looks so good I might try this myself okay honey